Okay, we wanted to revisit the uh, front wheel's swivel mechanism on the mountain buggy. Uh, there has been an improvement inside. And while I'm at it, I thought I'd also show you uh, what one would do in order to switch out ball bearings. Uh, I can show you first. The uh, front wheel attaches to the fork in a very simple way. And that's this screw that goes through it with these two triangular nuts on either side. Um, it's good to uh, oil inside here um, every once in a while, especially on the side where the ball bearing is. There's actually a ball bearing under this plastic part as well. The reason for this oiling, among other things, is that in addition to needing oiling for the ball bearings, uh, if this rusts tightly inside, then you're going to have trouble and you're going to have to knock it out with a hammer should you have to switch any parts later and that can be expensive. But if you will need to switch out the ball bearing, it's simply a matter of removing this. Then you can pop this whole plastic part through with a hammer. Just knock it through. I'm not going to do it now. That's all it is. Then you can remove the ball bearing and switch it. Now moving on to the swivel mechanism. Put this back. In order to open up the swivel mechanism, the first thing that you will need is a small screwdriver. And you can see that there's a cap here in the middle. You're just going to fit your small flathead screwdriver in the side and kind of work it up there. Now what you'll actually see underneath, I've already removed it, is a nut that's on here. And provided this hasn't rusted completely on, which does occur, um, in which case you need to oil it first and so on. You can take a socket wrench and remove it. And once you have it off, you can more or less pull this through. This top plastic part will now also come off it's there. Just wanted to show you this as well. So this plastic part is separate as well. And the improvement has been made in the lower part of this, which used to be solid like this, but is now separated into two pieces. And the problem before was that this was, for some weird reason, tight onto the metal fork. So when it would break, you still had what was left of it hanging on the fork and there was no way to switch it out. But with this stroller, I had to switch out the metal fork. This is already the new one. So you would be have these pieces, the fork and these plastic pieces. And in order to put it back together, after you've switched it out and oiled everything, you take these onto here. And I would spray oil in there before. If you have any problems with the lock mechanism, you want to uh, deal with that to oil it before putting the fork back in place. When you're tightening with your socket wrench, you want it to be tight enough that you don't feel it wiggle back and forth too much this way but not so tight that the wheel provides resistance as it spins around along the axis. Axis. So I'm going to test this by pushing the stroller in concentric circles. Then at the end, simply going to pop the top back in place, and you're finished. Thank you very much.